All right, so you guys are gonna laugh at me. I rented the wrong van. I really thought I was picking up a lime green Westphalia. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I did. I'm still in Alaska. I just picked this van up in Anchorage. But the good news is, is that the Westphalia was still available and I'm meeting up with it right now. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with this thing, but just was not what I was expecting. But this one is just a little bit cooler. I mean, look at this thing. Looks like it belongs on a magazine. Switching up the truck life, her van life. This is a 1982 Volkswagen Westphalia. Motor swap for Subaru. And I hope that thing is in drive. That's neutral. That's drive. So tonight I'm driving this van all the way down to Cooper Landing, which is about a two hour and 10 minute drive. Because tomorrow, going shaman fishing as one does in Alaska. Oh, this time we're going on the river. Right now it's 6 a.m. and I've got to drive over to the nearest boat launch and meet my guide for the morning. What's up, man? Big time, buddy. How's it going? Not bad, you? Nice to meet you. What's you your too. name? Jordan. Nice to meet you. I'm yeah. Maverick. Sorry, you didn't want to cost me. No, you're, you're good. You're so good. Cool. You guys so from here? Just, no, no, we're, we're from, from Alberta. 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 Yeah. Good to meet you, man. Good yeah. luck today. Really nice yeah. to meet you guys, too. Thanks. Yeah, catch some fish. You too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're on the Kenai River here in Alaska. We're taking on a drift boat with our guide, Mike. We're going after some rainbow trout and some salmon today. Maverick. We're doing it. <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> we are doing it. All right, we're taking off. Time to do some fly fishing. Look at that. Man. Man. We're scaring the herd. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these things. Out there. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy, dude. And they're no good eating right now, anyway. <gasps> oh, there we go. Oh, you got him. You got him. There we go. Oh, okay, I'm watching you. Sorry. Is that a dolly? Yep, dolly. Nice. First fish of the day for me, Dolly Varden. You can drop him in. See you, bud. That thing was really aggressive. Yeah, I hit it hard. Yep, big one. We're doing all right. Doing? It's a bow. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a runner. <laughs> That's oh I'm boy, doing. don't break a rod. I don't want to break the sage. Okay, now I might need to switch again. <laughs> You're fine. You worry about fishing. I'll 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 work around you. How about? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a good rainbow, yeah. There you go. That's a nice bow. Yeah. Great, Maverick. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Ah! Heck yeah. Thank you. Yeah, nice work. Awesome. Man. All right, people. So we just stopped on the river after I caught that rainbow trout. Um, we're fly fishing today. So we're using a big nine foot fly rod. So the way that we're fishing today is we're using this here. Uh, Bead, something like you'd find in your sister's jewelry box. A little tiny hook on it. And what that's imitating is a fish egg. You got some weight and then you got the fly fisherman's fancy name for a bobber, an indicator. There's a sockeye. Fish out. Ooh, sockeye. Yay, sockeye! 
They're really that bad at eating when they're like this, huh? Oh yeah. They're disgusting. Yeah. Like inedible. Inedible. Well, nothing's inedible, right? But uh, it's not not great. Yeah, my joke is always like, if you want to eat this fish, just grab a straw and create it. Let's go make a smoothie. Straw. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's pretty much the meat's already smoothie, so. That's good. Yeah. Cool colors, at least. Yeah, I know they're, they're still pretty. Look at that color on that thing. So that's my first sockeye salmon, I think. I, usually when I come here, I'm only here for silver season. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's on accident. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Sweet, man. Thanks, girl. Go do your thing. Uh-oh. No, you didn't. Why? Why did you eat my bead? Big sockeye guy today. Oh, boy. Would you just make it easy on me? Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh. Just caught myself a second sockeye. They're, uh, they're spawning right now, so the reason that they're all colored up in red like that is because the meat's bad. It's essentially... That's the easiest way of explaining it. We're going after a silver salmon. It'll be much more tasty. All right, so we just came to this spot in the river. Look at this. Look at all these sockeye salmon right here. Right behind them. Look at, oh, they're spooking. A couple hundred fish right here. You can see some of them are really colored up like red. Some of them aren't so much. But the red, the red is not a good thing for the meat. They're very soft and gross. You got a fish? You do. You yeah. do have a fish, don't you? I do have one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good bow. Okay, don't get in that tree, please. Oh, this river. This river grows. Crazy. All right, there we go. We got a rainbow. Yeah. Bye. Nice bow. Doubled up. Double trouble. Oh, nice yeah. work. Good job. Yeah. Good job, Jackson. <laughs> one. Nice. Nice. Yeah, man. Oh. Two. Ooh, nice one. Yeah. Beauty. See you, bud. <laughs> Tiring you out? I'm good. I'm good. Are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I suppose if I got super desperate, I could go ahead and eat that. There's no way I would ever touch that with a 10-foot pole. So it's funny, the fish that end up washed up on shore here usually don't have an eye because the birds go for the eyes first. I'll leave that one for another bird. All right, we're going to walk a little bit up river here. Keep your eyes out for grizzly bears. Man, this river's beautiful. Probably one of the most coveted rivers in all of the United States, Kenai. Hello, that's a big one. Oh, Stay on the tree. Bring him on in. Woo. I'm gonna watch you. Stay out of that tree. There we go. Nice. Look at that bow. Woo. Fifth rainbow of the trip, and it's the biggest, and it's gone. That's okay. <laughs> They're slippery. All right, we've got the drift boat on shore here, just waiting to get it pulled out of the water. There's a little storm coming in. Looks like we're gonna get off the river in just the right amount of time. I ended up the day with like 15 rainbow trout, the biggest one being probably like 23 inches, maybe. Might be wishful thinking, but no edible salmon. Can't believe it. My guide Mike was saying that. 
the silver salmon aren't running super thick right now, so. The ones that we did see weren't biting. Looks like we're gonna be going to the grocery store. Holy man. Dan, the river wears you out. minute drive and go check out a local grocery store see what they got that I can cook up for dinner It's absolutely hilarious that I couldn't catch a salmon here in Alaska today. So we're gonna have to tuck our tail a little bit. We're gonna be going into the grocery store and trying to find ourselves a salmon to cook for dinner. I feel like this might be a good place to start. Thank you. All right. You too. All right, you can't even buy salmon in Alaska. Imagine that. We're gonna be cooking up ribs over the fire tonight. It looks like we're gonna be cooking them in the rain. dirt road I think I've probably done oh I've for sure done one lap I've gone back and forth I'm just trying to find a nice campsite and it's proving to be a little more difficult than I intended alright okay found myself a campsite That's pretty rad. See a little pop up top. Lots of headroom in here. The one thing I forgot, sleeping bag or bedding. I honestly can't believe I forgot bedding, but here we are. Let's see what our fire's doing. Oh yeah. All right, that's looking nice.
Don't buy everyday essential tinfoil, I guess, is the, is the message you can get from this video. <laughs> Just gonna leave those on the fire for like the next 15 minutes. We'll see, uh, see what they're looking like. I'm waiting for my ribs to cook. And I don't have service right now, but my phone just suggested for me my exploring 2022. Nice. This time last year, my parents were joining me on a seven day road trip across Alaska. It's pretty funny. Love you, mom and dad. Thanks for always supporting me. All right. Well, I think we only have like five minutes left. I'll check them. I don't know. Should I put it directly on the rack? Maybe. Oh boy, good thing I caught that. Some ribs cooked over a fire. You know, I'm not even mad that I didn't get salmon. These ribs sound awesome. Bone apple teeth. I don't know what it is about being on a river all day. But man, it wears you out and makes you real hungry. Also, how weird are these little asparagus? This asparagus in Alaska is $7.99 for a bundle. And it's looking like that. It's a, little, it's a little messed up. Not my most gourmet meal ever. But it's hitting the spot right now. I do feel kind of like a goober for buying pre-made ribs. That being said, though. If you'd like to see me try to give Famous Dave a run for his money, out of the truck or Steve, let me know, because I'll do it. I'm not afraid to smoke some ribs for like seven hours. I'll do it. Those might have to get saved until a different day. in the truck life for van life who would have thought this thing's pretty sick if i was gonna get a van i think it'd be something something in the caliber of this and i'll tell you what driving a repowered van like an old van like this makes me want to get a new motor in like half of my vehicles imagine steve with like a cummins or something It'd be insane that's above my wheel wheelhouse though so if you know how to do that kind of stuff let me know it's one of my last days in alaska just trying to soak it all in. It was a pretty awesome day on the river meeting some really nice new people. The whole reason I've been up in Alaska is actually because I'm looking at a house um, up in Fairbanks. I don't know if I'm going to live in it full time or what I'm going to do with it. But I just came up to look. Maybe in the future more Alaska content. You know, I hope so. Because this place is awesome. Made a lot of good memories on this trip again. I think that'll about do it for tonight. We'll be seeing you in the morning. Good night. Morning. <laughs> I ended up using the mattress top as a blanket. If that's not chaotic, I don't know what is.
Atlanta. 